An Auckland man is demanding action after his house was damaged by an out-of-control car for the fifth time in three years. The driver and two teenagers inside the car were hurt, one of them critically. And the house owner fears his own children could be next if the road isn't made safer. Here's Jane Luscombe. It looks like a bomb's gone off. But all it took was one car and a driver who lost control. It's the fifth time in three years it's happened to this house on the junction of Great South Road and Central Avenue in Papatoitoi. Now Ramindra Kumar's family fear the sound of speeding traffic when they go to bed at night. Pretty shattered, pretty scary. Just like I said, my little daughter, she doesn't want to come back. The crash happened as they were sleeping. The impact so loud it woke neighbours down the street. The driver had just raced past an unmarked police car, almost clipped an ambulance, then hit the curb. This is a case of excesses, excessive speed, excessive alcohol and excessive stupidity. Uh, too far, too fast, uh, too much to drink and this is the result you see. The car hit this fence so hard that chunks of wood flew across the junction and landed on the roof of Kumar's house, seen in the distance. The car followed close behind, careering across the road, smashing through a breeze block wall and uprooting four trees. So tell me how big the wall was. Uh, it was uh, just about six feet high. And it's all gone now? Yeah, it's all gone. And it's not just his house that's vulnerable. At least four other properties nearby have been hit by out-of-control cars in recent months, some of them twice. The problem is speeding traffic and this bend in the road, which until last night you couldn't actually see from here because there was a 1.8 metre tall wall in the way. Now the people living in this street say they've repeatedly asked the council to install a crash barrier, but so far nothing has happened. The Manukau City Council says it's investigating. Ramendra Kumar's thinking of moving. Jane Luscombe, 3 News.